Yo, what is going on everyone? I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. I want to welcome you to today's video. But before we start today's video, we just hit 20,000 subscribers and I am so thankful and blessed to announce that to you guys. Honestly, I want to say thank you to every supporter of the channel. It literally means the world. I don't want to ramble about this, but I honestly just want to give you guys a huge shout out. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. And if you guys don't know, I have a vision board with all the milestones that I want to accomplish and we can finally take off 20,000 subscribers. So next is 30,000 subscribers. Let's get it. Alright guys, so for today's video, this is going to be something fun that I'm very excited to make for you guys. I'm going to give you guys a first person view of me driving my slammed to the ground FRS. Now I know a lot of you guys are curious on how I take this thing over speed bumps, get into driveways, leave driveways, get into shopping centers, leave shopping centers, dips, you name it. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I do it and basically my tactics on like driving this thing around town. This thing is pretty low, honestly. I'll give you guys an idea how low this thing is that's my front lip I don't know if you guys can see that but I can't even put my foot under <laughs> until it hits my lip so this should give you guys an idea this thing is pretty low in the front if you guys are new to my channel and this is your first video you're watching I want to welcome you guys to my channel really appreciate you clicking on the video this is my 2016 Scion FRS it is an FRS I just swapped out the front bumper for a BRZ one because I just like the way it looks better. <laughs> Quick run around, it is static, it is not on air. This is my static fitment. I'm on BC Extreme Low Coilovers, PBM Lower Control Arms in the rear, Megan Toe Arms, and um, PBM Diff and Subframe Risers. Workmeister S1s, three piece all around, and that's pretty much like a rundown of my suspension and wheel setup. Not on air, I'm not gonna like air up over speed bumps or anything like that today. That's enough of me talking, let's get into this driving. Alright guys, so I think I'm gonna show you guys some speed bumps first. While we drive there, I wanna explain my exhaust setup to you guys because it is very loud. This car isn't quiet at all. This car is fully catless. I'm running Borla and Eagle Length headers, which are catless, catless front pipe, stock resonator, and no mufflers. So this is pretty much like, it's pretty much a straight pipe, honestly, just with one stock resonator. But that's my exhaust setup. I know I get that question a lot. The car is tuned uh, with an open flash tablet, so I'm running stage two plus uh, 91 tune with a backfire and pop tune. So that's honestly like one of my favorite things of the car. This car backfires, pops, shoots flames, you name it. Versus driving like a normal car, obviously. So with driving a lowered car, it's more of like a driving style. 
over time you really start to you really start to adapt with driving the car the way it is you know a lot of people fear hitting like potholes or like huge bumps in the road and that's why they don't want to lower their car and one thing that's huge with me from my experience is that you completely memorize the roads the area that you drive around like most of the time it's weird like i can recall like the smallest things in the road that i have to avoid all the time when i'm driving this car it honestly helps big time because you can avoid breaking something or like ripping off your lip it's just something i feel that comes naturally whenever you drive a lowered car you can just like subconsciously memorize like stuff in the road and it'll all come back whenever you're driving on that road the next time but there are some times where you kind of just like have to full send it and no matter how hard you try to not scrape it's pretty much unavoidable It's just a part of driving a low car. It's gonna happen, you're gonna scrape. It's not like you're gonna lower your car and you're never gonna scrape your whole life. Wow, I need brakes so bad. <laughs> These people are probably looking at me like, why does this guy have a GoPro on his head? If you guys don't know, when you turn the wheel like all the way around, it literally raises the car a little bit in the front. So when I turn the wheel like this, the front end of the car raises just a little bit. And you'll notice it when you try it for yourself. You guys probably can't see it on camera, but... So that's one of the reasons why people, like, get crazy angle and they turn their wheel. But that inch of clearance really makes a difference whenever you're driving a car this low. There's a speed bump in front of me. So, once I get up to it straight, I'm gonna turn the wheel last minute. That'll raise the front end. I scraped just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm gonna try to not scrape here. I'm gonna be completely extra and just, like, really angle my car. I tried my best right there and I still scraped under so in certain situations it's pretty much unavoidable I don't like going over these speed bumps but I'll show you guys just for this video all right <laughs> oh my gosh and honestly once I get the lip over I full send it The way he went over that speed bump, he was pretty much like, screw that low car that can't go over a speed bump. I can go as fast as I want. All right guys, so once I approach this little incline thing, I don't even know what you call it. Just give it as much angle, lift the front end. Get my lip over, keep going, and then turn back the other way. Same thing when I come out, right before I go up to it. Just turn the wheel all the way so I can lift the front end. Keep going. I'm pretty sure you guys get the point of it now on getting into driveways, leaving, how I go over speed bumps for the most part. I'm gonna stop talking right now and I will let you guys enjoy the exhaust of this FRS.
to avoid going that fast around corners and stuff. Even fast in general because I already know I'm going to rip my lip off one day. next day I'm about to finish the edit on this video right now probably play some ps4 <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and took something from the tips I told you guys about how to drive a lowered car don't forget if you guys missed the previous video I am having a giveaway at 25,000 subscribers I haven't announced yet what I'm giving away and once we hit 25,000 subscribers I will launch the giveaway and make a video about it so let's get to that number so I can give away a free car part to you guys thank you guys for reaching the end of today's video I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one Peace out.